fellow gamers, welcome to Board Game Battle with Glory Hound and... The Doctor. The Doctor Glory Hog. Doctor Glory Hog, if you will. Doctor! <laughs> Glory Hog. Doctor Glory Hog. <clears throat> you better pump it up because you've been a little bit of a poop earlier today. <laughs> Listen, we played this earlier, you and I beat her so bad that she game. went to the rule book and reread it like like I had cheated. She was like, nope, this you, isn't right. You win one game, and then that's it. That's You're like, I would have beat you. Boom! You won Deadly Doodles, <laughs> and you were cocky just walking around the house like, I want Deadly Doodles. I, I was beat not Lizzie. cocky. Yeah, I was not you cocky. You were cocky. <laughs> Walk around. Hello, <laughs> hello, Nathan and Battle Cry. How are you guys doing today? What no. is up? I was not. I was not cocky after that. That was. You said more than once. I beat Lizzie. I, it was like a handshake. You handshake. You're like, oh, very good. Thank you. Thank I you so much for joining is. me. I've never. That's because you've only been slapped all your life. <laughs> That's on camera. Now there's video proof. Finally. Dang it. Dang video it. Video proof. <laughs> it's about time. I'm gonna give you your bonus cards while you're over here being. Wow. Mean. Okay. Well, today we're gonna be playing Ragusa by Capstone Games. The this big Ragu. is for you know I didn't even look up the information. One to on this. five players. One to five players. This is for one to five players. I don't players. know if this is true, but it feels like a sixty to ninety minute game to me. Does it? Yeah. I don't know. If that's that's right. only because I take a really long time to decide on things. No, I'm saying on the box. <laughs> oh, okay. I think it should be less than sixty minutes personally with two players, but. It could, with just you, it would probably be a good 15 minutes because no, you just be a 45 minute you'd game. shake your pieces up and then throw them out on the board. That, that's <laughs> how I beat you by over 20 points. <laughs> just by just shaking them up. Shaking them up. Special mood today. We're in a special mood today, everyone. It's just gotten feisty just up in here. Letting you guys know. Super feisty today. We're going to battle over vineyards and. I mean, so all the, sorts of stuff. We're the getting... idea is this is like eventually becomes the great city of Ragusa, but it starts off as just farmland and regular city. So we're gonna build it with these two hands, big well, these strong four hands. hands. I mean, there's two of mine and two of yours. Oh, you're gonna play? I didn't realize. Oh my god! Oh, oh my gosh! <laughs> oh my gosh! Just shaking the bush, boss. <laughs> I like the Laverne and Shirley reference earlier. I had to like look, think that through. I was like, who's the big ragu? All right. So to set up, we're going to be playing the two-player game, which means that we got access to these sweet little black, I guess, I mean, they're like they're buildings. The buildings. They're yeah. little buildings. They mean different things in different places. And with that, these powerhouses are only available during a two-player game. So we'll explain that whenever it actually happens. Sure. We also get 12 of these little houses, which changes during different player games. Right. We're How gonna many get do you get? These little cards here, which... Sadly, my board is going to be cut off, so you're not going to get to see all of my board today. Instead, you're going to be playing along with our winner, Dr. Glory Hog, over here and seeing God, I'm gonna his lose. key moves right here. All of his moves right here. I'm going to lose here, so bad now okay? that you're setting me up this way. Every single move is going to be scrutinized right here. It's true. It's true. <laughs> and these are going to be our counters for our resources on this, as well as the resources that we can actually sell on here, on this board Which right this here. This fits into the box very nicely, because it's, it's just these little boxes of your pieces. And they're, they're in bags, but I mean, it was just nice to pull everything out. I was like, oh, it was so easy to set up. I wish every company did this, because Capstone Games basically put together a box of each player's stuff, and you put all of your player pieces in here for the certain color player, and so whenever you want to go ahead and play, you just take these boxes out, and that's all of the player pieces right there. And they all stand in there, like, very nicely. It's so nice. And then you just, like, shove them back in the box, and voila! Boom. Instant, instant board game night, I guess. <laughs> that's all you need. And people just show up. Like, feel Little the tiny dreams. boxes, and then showing up. You just shake the boxes. All right, Dr. Warhawk, since you are, are the winner from last game, Chicken why don't dinner. you go ahead and show off your cards? to our audience and show them which one you're going to be choosing today as your special bonus. Close your eyes. All right, my eyes are definitely closed. <laughs> they are not. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, oh, I, already I think know I'm going to go with this for. one. Well, why don't you show our audience? Can you close your eyes, please? Okay, okay, my eyes are closed. They are not. They're open behind your hand. I can see you. So the options <laughs> I have here Why don't you make are... sure they're in focus? How did you know that if you're not looking? <laughs> Here, you put it and put it in my hand, and then we'll get it focused. There you go. Put it in my hand. 
I'm not looking. I'm so not that looking. would give me two victory points for each tower I have, up to a maximum of 12. Two for that type of ship. So each ship has uh, a certain type of resource, or a certain type of thing, like a textile, something like that. Two for that. And then the last one is for fishies. And I have to pick you which one I want. are the worst at this. Oh my gosh. You gotta, you gotta get it right in the middle, right in the middle. The sweet spot. She's sweet not gonna know spot. which one I took though, because no, I, I don't trust her. Oh, are you doing a random one? Yeah, I did that's do a random one. That's how Dr. Glorhog plays it. He plays it fast and loose, everyone. And that's how we got married. <laughs> Fast and loose. <laughs> Only took seven years of dating. Then we're going to be putting out these little ship cards mm -hmm. here, which are super awesome. I, I thought, already mixed them. Okay, you already mixed them? Okay, so you mixed them in your favor, right? <laughs> I'm the one in the mood, guys. Mm. <laughs> so essentially what we're doing, these are ships. You can pick these ships off by going to the market, or you can sell commodities by going to the wharf. And what we do when we first set the game is everything goes here on the special one spot here, which is to the farthest to the right one spot. And then we adjust them based off these cards. So we're going to actually make wine go up one, two, three, making that more valuable. And silver's going to go up one, and oil's going to go up two. And then we flip them over. And not like crude oil, but like the delicious oil. Yeah, it's olive oil, wine, and silver. All silver the bars. good things. All the good things. I would take any of those things because right not now. only are we like these people that have enough money to like make stuff we're just like and i'm just gonna sell some olive oil on the side maybe a little <laughs> vine a little bit of vine and uh a little bit of silver bars i like to trade in silver bars all right i need to i had a bunch of here. silver coins once like I 30. Need these, i need to put these in here and i took my silver coins oh, i traded oh. them in for legos oh yeah that actually did happen and then no regrets and then your no legos regrets. got more prosperous like that Lego market, that Lego market. All right, so what we're gonna be doing is each player is gonna be placing one building, one building, and then that's gonna determine the type of actions that we have here. Special rules up here in the rule area. You have to have access to at least one wood uh, in order to be put onto this hex. And then down here in the city itself, the city proper, if you will, you have to have access to one stone. If you want to add another one to one of these hexes, you'd have to have an additional stone. Well, Same thing for up here. We're gonna go over that as we do it because I feel like that part can be somewhat confusing to players Super if not. they haven't seen it. Maybe that's why I won. Everyone, <laughs> there's going to be murders on stream tonight. <laughs> Red hot murder. Murders on stream. <laughs> All right, so since you won last time, I get to go first this time. Sure, that's how that works. That's how that works. I think I goes, so. the youngest goes first, but mm. that would be me. Did you want to go first? Is that no, what you're trying fine. to say? <laughs> I actually don't even know who it does say to go first. I'm so used to just randomly picking. Okay, so I think I'm going to I don't even know go... if that doesn't matter. Yeah, I'm going to choose right here. I thought this was going to be super hard to learn, but it was actually pretty quick. No, it's very quick, but I think the board can be intimidating yeah, because of the all style, the stuff you're playing. Right, now. and then the style of Euro game at first usually throws me off. and So I tend to stay away from these ones, and she learns these ones, and I learn the more thematic shorter games typically not the longer ones so i'm going to go ahead and place right here and we always total in oh my god that's exactly where i went last time whatever wood that you have here mm -hmm. into your score so i'm going to take one wood and this is going to allow me to go ahead and place things everywhere and if you can see this little card here this means that i can now place a building one building in a hex so that's going to allow me to go ahead and do that so i get the one and this building here counts for this hex and accounts for this hex right here. Correct. So I have one building in this hex, which is one wood cost, one building in this hex, which is one wood cost, but they are separate entities, okay? So this one wood can count for this hex and it can count for this hex right here. And you'd have to get access to a second wood source if you wanted to build a second building in either one of those hexes. Right, so if I wanted to put one here, I would need to go ahead and have one wood source for in here, okay? An additional. An additional. I'm sorry, an additional. So it'd have to have two total. And it actually says on the cards, too. The actual wood card itself, it shows you. I that really each like hex, that. you get one. If you've got access to two wood, you can have two buildings per hex. I think in the woods, instructions, it can hex. be confusing. But whenever you see the actual hmm. card itself, like it's easy just to glance down at this and go, oh, okay. Now I have one wood, which I'm actually going to put down here so you can kind of see it. And you just kind of like slide it in here. And then that keeps track of it for you. I really like the system that they have here for keeping track of stuff. They made it really, really easy. Yeah, and um, it's the only thing is like the the resources out here never go down. Right. It's just how much access you have, and then your commodities go up and down. So it's nice that they're separate. They're not like mixed. Fish. 
But I'm going to go ahead and take one silver, okay. and then I'm going to take one stone as well. So we're going to start that up. You're going to gain access to one silver and one stone. Mm. You're not taking it. You just have I a quarry. I am farming the land for wood and stone and stuff, okay? <laughs> I'm taking these. You can't stop me. That's how I'm doing it. And she's copying me from my last play. So I'm basically doing the mirror of her at this point. I want wood, stone, and silver. Wood, stone, and silver. Stone will oh. let me build inside the oh, city proper. Likely, likely. Silver could potentially become a commodity. <laughs> and wood lets me keep building out there. Battle. And the cool thing is you get to actually, you check for the building requirements after you place. So like, neither one of us had access to anywhere when we started. But as soon as I place there, I'm going to have access to wood, which makes that a legal move. Battle cries like, dun, dun, dun. Battle cry knows what's you know? That's how it goes. That's how it goes. It's one of those days, battle cry. All right. So Feeling where do I want to place the next one? Feels like a Friday, because I'm tired and I'm like ready to be done with work. Forever. Forever. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think this game definitely looks a lot more intimidating than it actually is. But you know what? I found that a lot of Capstone games can be that way, where you like it looks kind of like, oh man, this is gonna be there's gonna be so many rules, and then once you start, you're like, oh okay, this is actually pretty straightforward. So I'm gonna place another one here, and this allows me to place it here because I automatically get the one wood because this will means I need two wood here for this hex. And I'm going to get one wood and one of the little grapes. So I'm going to move this up here. Oh, you're going for tiny grapes, little champagne grapes? Um, I'm going for those They're not grapes. champagne grapes because they're not in champagne. Have you guys tried the moon grapes? They're like these big, huge, <laughs> like dark, they're, they're like dark black, right? Yeah. And, and they're, they're kind they're of like crescent shaped. Elongated. They're yeah, they're like... super long, but they're really sweet. And they're not out all the time, but we get them here locally. Well, at our grocery store, I should say locally, at our grocery store a couple times, uh, like once a year. They're really good. Big old moon grapes. And then there's those cotton candy grapes. Oh, the cotton candy grapes are amazing. I don't oh know what they God. inject into those grapes, but they need to keep up that. Oh they're good Oh, my God. Work. If I could just eat moon grapes and cotton candy grapes all the and time, And champagne I grapes, those little tiny ones. You just want to be, like, I just wish you could eat them faster. Yeah. Because, like, I'm half the time I'm just eating stems, too. I'm just like, oh, I, <laughs> I just can't, can't stop. All right, so like I would like to play somewhere here, but I can't unless I get access to another wood. So... Oh, I should have gone up one more stone. I'm actually going to go here, which is going to give me access to another stone. It's going to give me access to another st stone, so that lets me build two houses down in here. And it's going to give me um, olives and grapes. Olives and grapes. There's your access. So you can see how this can go pretty quick, especially in the beginning. All right, and the reason why we're populating these up here is because That's how we get these the stuff. actions down here, a lot of them do apply to what you already have up here, what you've already farmed. Yeah, you on can't your place land. here unless you can actually activate all the tiles that you're connected to. So, so if I want to go here to the fishmonger, for example, I have to have fish for it. I've got to be able to sell a commodity, and I've got to be able to take a card. I have two wood available, so I can go ahead and place here because of this hex. But I'm going to get silver, and I'm going to get olives and I'm gonna get grapes so let's move my card around and I said silver and I said grapes or no wait olives sorry there we go okay so looking at her board I know she's got access to two grapes I've got access to one grape I've got one olive. how dare she's got you look at my off. grapes leave my grapes alone <laughs> so what I'm gonna do I would rather you not I'm gonna go right here Ugh. So I have access to a stone. So this is going to let me activate the winery. It's going to let me activate the architect and the real and the the rector's palace. It's already getting dirty. So first I go to the winery, right? And so I take a look, and I've got one house around this hex, and I've got access to one grape. So one times one, I get one wine. Not super exciting, but it's there. Here's the rub. If she places anywhere on this hex, she goes, and then I get to go for free because I already have a house there. And that's where all the awesomeness of this game is: is that you can trigger off of each other. The architect, so I get to place a tower down anywhere along this outside here, which actually can build a wall. So I'm just going to start here as just kind of a generic place. And the Rector's Palace lets me get two bonus cards, keep one, and, and discard the other. Booyah kasha! Oh, you don't even want to know what that one is. Seriously, you do not want to know. I'll tell you for $10. So now here's hoping she goes for grapes. See, now she's going to try to rush up in there, too. What are you getting? I'm going to go right here. Okay. So what are you activating first? So... Well, first you're going to get... I'm going to get... Olives. My olives first. 
bum bum bum, which is close to dun dun dun, but like not I'm gonna as get intense. My grapes. Yep, so you've got one. So house. grapes times one. One house, two grapes. Mm -hmm. You get two. Two points, or no wait, two of these. Yeah. Oops. Whoa, you stay away from those points, Missy. Listen, I always want the points. So now that she's gone, he goes in clockwise order. So now I would get to go and do the same thing. So once again, I would look at my grapes and I would get another one. So it's not super exciting for me right now, but it was free. I got a free wine. And then I get to place one of these as well. She gets to do a tower. So she's going to place one of the towers. The purpose of the towers is for every tower and house you have with, with actual wall in between, you get points at the end. So she's trying to block off right there immediately. So, okay, that is definitely a strategy. I'm going to actually place right here. Mm, actually, no, I'm going to go over here. So last time what I did is I piggybacked off of hers and she got real mad. And then I was like, no, you cannot come over here. So this time. <laughs> it didn't I'm, work because he kept on coming over there. <laughs> so I'm not going to do it this time because I don't want any of that business. So I'm going to next for my next turn. For my next trick. I'm going to actually go right here. So this gives me access to the cathedral, which is end game points. Gonna let me activate the silversmith. So the silversmith is just gonna give me once again just one bar. Not super exciting, but it is what it is. Um, but the nice thing is I also can do the mason and build a wall. And I can start off by building a wall right here. And I don't get to score, I get to score one point for my wall. If I had actual buildings here, I would score additional points for having them next to them. I don't, I just have towers, so it'll be good for end game points, but not initial points. So I'll just get one point, please. I thought you scored the towers, but it's no, when you, you have the, oh, it's whenever you put the towers down, you don't score, I thought. You just score the houses, and then the, the houses? and then the, okay. you, I'm sorry, you score the buildings, and then you do the towers at the end of the game. Because at the end of the game, they count as a continued line. Got it, got it. I will re-reference just to be sure. Let's see here. But when you place off of the architect, you don't get points. Mm, it might actually, might be right. Dun, dun, dun. Hi, Kiefer. How are you doing? I hope you're having a good day today. Oh, you're right. You do. So you get an extra VP for each house or tower next to it of your color. So since I had two towers to the side, I say you're right all the time. Calm down. You married me, so you obviously <laughs> have good taste. So I've got one victory point here, and then I get an additional two victory points because I've got the two next to it. So I actually go up to three. So thank you for scoring me those you two extra victory very points. Welcome. You know, I'm always helping you out in this game. I'm always helping you out. <laughs> you helped me out one time. One time. Hmm. Keeper McConnell. I, I feel like that is an awesome name. Think. I would like to you go... You could like instantly get cast into the movie Highlander with a name like that. Probably. Keeper McConnell? That's yeah, probably. you're the next Highlander for sure. Yeah. Highlander 4, The Reckoning. I feel like it, yeah. Part 2. I don't have any... No, I do have silver. Silver's not like super great though right now either though. What is silver at? So if we were to sell silver right now, it's only worth what, 2? Yeah, it's only the 2. Everything's at 2. It doesn't scale up super, super high until you get up there. But man, silver last game was like all over the place. It was crazy. It finally got up to like, yeah, I think it got up to like four or something. It was pretty nice. It's interesting that multiple spots in the commodity track, it just moves it up increments. It doesn't immediately go from two to three and then four, five, six, seven. Like Raccoon Tycoon does that. It jumps around like really easily. This one Nobody is very slow. Nobody saw that. Nobody saw that. <laughs> I feel like this game is meant to have a very close, tight finish where points are very close to each other. Okay, I think... Because there's caps on your bonuses. Your commodities only go up by points if, you, go if it right goes here. up multiple times. Where'd you go? All right, so I'm going to go right here. So by the oil press. I have access to the oil press. Let's do the oil press first. Okay. Because it makes me feel good whenever I can do something, but Dr. Glory Hog can't. Okay, so you're going to get two times one for the oil press. So you made yourself some olive oil. Got some delicious oil going on. Okay, and then this applies to end game points yep. here. And then I get to put up one wall, and you also get to put up one wall as well. Oh, I need some walls, please. Give me a wall, please. Wall, please. I'm going to put it on right there. All right. So you're going way over there. And so mm -hmm. you get one point, two points. All right. I think you just get two. I don't think you get a, pon a bonus point since you have a tower and a house there. I think it only counts the one. I believe so. But if we're wrong... Then it hurt you, if not me. If it's wrong, that's fine. then later on we'll recalculate <laughs> via the stream, via the end of the stream. We'll put on the clean on subtitles <laughs> and recalculate points. That's right. 
All right, so I'm going to actually place my wall over here. So I'm going to get a point for the wall, and then it's connected to a tower I own. So that's another point. So two points for me, please. I'd, I'd rather not. I know. If you could just stop getting points, that'd be cool. Mm, gosh. Um... So, chat, have any of you played Ragusa at home? We got this in as a Kickstarter, and it just took us a little while to go ahead and play it and everything. So I'm really glad that we were able to come back to it. I was really excited about it. Yeah, this is one I was not super pumped about. You were about not pumped about. Because it looks like it's just a, a he, like kind of a heavier Euro, and I just tend to just it's... dismiss them quickly, I should say. Because I'll don't, I'll play them, but I, at first glance, I'm not a person that looks at a Euro and picks up the box, flips it over, and I'm like, really? oh my god, grapes, <laughs> vineyards, Tuscany, <laughs> done. I just don't. I like, I like, well, like, like, I don't know, more exciting Well, theme. it's like area control, is it too, is. you know? And you're really fighting for those different areas. And that's what I really liked about this whenever our, we were talking about the Kickstarter was the fact that there was so much area control going on and you didn't have to get all your points from one place, but you also wanted to make sure that somebody else wasn't getting all their points from one place, you know? So since I have access to two stone, I can actually put two per. I'm going to place it right there. So I'm going to take one from the Rector's Palace. The interesting thing to know about these two spots, this end game one and the Rector's Palace, is um, they don't trigger other people. So only the person who just placed gets to go there or gets to do that ability. So I get to take a look here. I'm going to keep that one. So I've got three endgame things already. Silversmith. So for the Silversmith, once again, I still have one silver, but I've got two houses there. So I'll get two. And Where's your other house in the silver? Oh, there was okay. Yep. So and then, then, for, then it'll activate this one, which means I'd also get an additional two because I've got two houses here and I've got access to one silver. So I'm up to five silver bars now. And then the other thing that I can do is the architect. So I would first do the architect, place down a house, which I think I'm going to put down a house. Or I'm sorry, put down a tower here. And then it would go to this spot here. So I'd get to do it again. You guys can see where I'm going with this. Away from her. And uh, then she would get to activate because she's also on this architect. So although I got to do it twice, she still gets to do it once. She does still get some kind of ability there, which she gets to do for free on my turn, which is nice. I'm sure you're waiting for that. You were like, oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, yeah. What do I actually want for my endgame points here? I like that these cap out, so you can't get, like, too ridiculous. Let's put it... Throw it in the sea. By the oil press again? Oh, okay. That's where you're putting that. Gotcha. So you're splitting up, huh? You don't even know where you want to go. Do you feel like this was a good move? Trying to like immediately make a block spot so I won't go there? Because I feel like whenever you were kind of doing this before with houses and then I came over with all my towers and capped, I got to kind of like build off of what you're building. But by putting that block there, I feel like you really kind of pushed me away from you. So like I didn't want to build wall by you. I'm just asking strategy-wise. <laughs> you think that was good? Or I'm just curious. Maybe. Okay. I guess we'll see. That's true. I guess we will see. I guess see. we'll see. All right. Where would you like to place your mighty, mighty building? I'm thinking. The mighty, mighty building? Never had to knock on wood, but I know someone who had. That's mighty, mighty boss one. That's close. Anybody still like Ska? I know. We don't. Nobody likes Ska. Wow. That one brief uh, summer, like everybody so many, loves there's ska. There's so many choices is the problem, and I want to do, there like, all the things. six months of ska fever. That's just upsetting. I just want to do all the things. You can bring ska back. Don't be upset. So, if I go to the market, mm -hmm. what is my card even? Hold on. Let me take a little, another look at my card here. All right. All right. We definitely have less stuff up here, so we're definitely earning less points to, like, buy things. This is, like, a completely different game. Already, yeah. It's just like a fight over the wall. Mm, is it? Well, it is now. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I'm going to put it right here. What are you doing? I don't know what I'm doing anymore. Okay. I'm just being, I'm just placing stuff at this point. <laughs> okay, so oil press. So oil press. So do it first the first time. So you've got access okay, to on. two houses. 
And what's first, your oil at? I'm sorry. I do want to get my grapes first. Okay. That's smart. I want to get my grapes first, okay? So you got three. And then I'm going to do my oil press so I have access to two of those. And you got two houses, so four. Two houses, two olives, you have four. And then you get to do it again because you have a second house there. So six, seven, eight, nine, ten. But boom So very good. You got I lots of oil. All the oils. I have no oil. I have all the oils. But I have silver. I feel like silver is better than oil. I'm going to go ahead and take, I need two of the walls. One. Right here. Okay, so wall, and then you're going to do wall again. Okay, so do the first one. And whenever you... Go ahead and activate the first one. Yeah, whenever you do this, you always do it uh, clockwise. So yeah. I would get to go, I would get to go, Dr. Glory Hog would get to go on that one there. I'm going to... Let's do some of this. So two points. Give yourself two points. I thought it was three. One, two, three. No, it's just three. towers one, and two. wall. Yep. And then your second placement. I think. Let's do some of this. So technically, if nobody places there, that would still count for her because she can skip over an empty space. So this would be continuous wall. One, two, three, four. Right. For my continuous wall right now, it's just one, two, three, four, five. Not much better. But I'm going to place mine. Uh, you got you placed right here, correct? Mm -hmm. So you just get one point for placing the wall. I'm going to place... Yes. Here, don't badoops, please. Not on stream. No, I will badoops as much as I want. Can I get three points, please? <laughs> no. And I just made my wall significantly better. But this is just that's just one way to score at the end because you're going to score off of walls, you're going to score off a of cathedral, and then you're going to score off of your bonuses. So you don't want to get too overly focused on something. Not saying that you are, but you might be. I'm going to actually go here, I believe. So if I go here, that's going to give me two wood and a grape, correct? Is that what you're seeing? Yep. Okay. So it gives me up to three wood. It gives me access to another grapes. Because I'm running, I don't have a lot of resources. And that's not very threatening to her. She's just like, all right, whatever. She doesn't really care. But three wood means I can build up to three houses per hex on the outside in the rural areas. Which can be useful because sometimes you can kind of get trapped where you're like, I can't build anything else. Right. Hmm. If you had a vineyard, what would you call it? Casadeus Vineyard. I call mine Vixen Vines. Oh. <laughs> Vixen Vines. <laughs> Vixen Vines. No, no, it wouldn't be Casadeus. But the, I mean, Casadeus is a very mighty awesome name for Casadeus, a vineyard. Casadeus, Casadeus, do 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 do. Casadeus, Casadeus. I don't do, think do, that's do, how oh, that works. Casadeus. No, that's, that's Amadeus. My yeah, bad. yeah. It's the same. Casadeus, <laughs> Amadeus. It's not. Explain how it's different. It's not. Um, do you say Chipotle see. like you say Aristotle? They're spelled the same way. So shouldn't it be Aristotle? What? what? Aristotle and Chipotle are spelled the same way. Just the Eras and then the Chipotle. Don't distract me while I'm trying to make moves here. This is not going to be good business. So who's saying it wrong? Are we saying Aristotle wrong or are we saying Chipotle wrong? I can't I can't talk about this right now. <laughs> They're spelled almost the same way. Which I'm making one's right? decisions right now. That okay. Which one's right? <laughs> are we saying Chipotle right or Aristotle right? I feel like at this point, I probably need to go to the market and get rid of some of this oil. I also want fish, so. <laughs> this is where she locks up, shuts down. All right, good night, everybody. All right, I'm going to go here. I'm going to go here. Oh, no, wait, I can't go here because I don't have any fish yet. I don't have any fishes. Yeah, you have to be able to actually do that tile if you go there. I, I wore my very appropriate fishes. shirt of a Godzilla saying, why won't somebody love me as he's breaking down buildings? So basically what we can do is after we're done doing this, we immediately put King of Tokyo on top of it and we battle for the city of Ragusa. What do you think? No, I'm not down with that. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go here. I'm going to get one fish. I think anytime one we do a city building game, we should fishy. bring out King of Tokyo to knock the city down afterwards. One fishy. And then I'm also going to get... So I don't want more oil, though. That's the problem. Hold on. But you got yourself some oil. Hold on. Can I don't want to do that. Do you even have three stone? You don't have three stone. You can't go there. Oh, I didn't see my other one there. I'm, I'm thinking I'm going to go here anyway because I want my two fish. So two fish. Fish are unique because you can actually spend the fish and they can either like 
activate them for like a wood or something, or you can trade them in for stone or silver, or you can use them for just straight up victory points here. And then I'm gonna go to the market. So two fish and a market. All right, so what are you gonna sell off? So she has one house there, so she can go ahead and sell one commodity at the market. I'm referencing my card. And so that means definitely she's trying not to get... choosing something based off of the card that I just looked at. Definitely not, everyone. <laughs> I think I'm going to go ahead and spend the two. I told her fatal. I told her fatal paper cut. She doesn't listen. What? Front cam died. Oh no, my front cam died. Oh my god. Oh my god. We were just messing with that earlier. I too. was because I was upset because it wasn't working right. And this is why we come to you live. It's almost like when a newscaster gets hit in the face by like a fish during a storm. It's almost that good. <laughs> what? That happened. There was like a newscaster out there and it was like kind of like a tornado or, or I guess it'd be like a typhoon or something. There was like a, a fish came with like, phew, like hit them in the face. It was amazing. How is that amazing? That's not good. I would, you know, if, if, if I was doing home, something live and a fish flew it, up and hit me in the face, would I be mad about my face? Yes. Would I be happy that it was a fish that attacked me? Also, yes. <laughs> because everyone knows you can never be attacked by the same fish twice. That is a rule. I don't think that's a thing. Birds don't fly at night. And you can't be attacked by the same fish twice. Right, I'm spending two oil for this. Have and you gotten yourself all confused now? This oil goes down one. And I get this card, so I get three victory. One, two, three. She's going to also use whatever symbols on that boat, potentially. And then a new, this card slides and over. I'm going to give you a little chop whenever you put stuff down. Go chop. ahead and uh, move the wine up. Because now we put down a wine card that has increased wine. I'm going to flip oh, it over. Oh, fancy, fancy. Is it, is it my turn? No, it's my turn again. How? How? I'm just kidding. Your okay, turn. I was like, what? I'm Sorry, just kidding. It's only, definitely your turn. I Stop only, gloating about it. <laughs> I only play the right way, so you could see why I was confused. If you could just play a little bit less better, that'd be awesome. And then fish are notoriously like lightning strikes. <laughs> it's true. Fish and lightning, they're like brothers. Oh, that's a good, you know, that's like some statistics I want to know. Like, are more people hit in the face by fish yes then lightning strikes because there's jumping carp like in the south oh my god they're an invasive species and they i think they're carp or catfish or something but they're jumping fish and so like the the flat motor boats they like run through there all the time through the channels and stuff those fish flip up and hit people in the face all the time and it I'm seems not... funny but people like report like getting like broken noses and all kinds of stuff and damage their boats like insurance damage because these fish are big <gasps> and they jump up in the water when they get scared and just and they hit people right in the face. If you're if you're flying down a channel, like in your boat, and you're getting knocked point, out. Okay, hold on. All so right. you you finish your turn. At this point, everyone, How dare why you? hasn't boats with like nets in the front and like back or like a netted thing, like a you can basically just throw up like a tent net. People <laughs> do then, catch them. And then that would be fine. Like you would just have to go through, and then you wouldn't get hit by fish in the face. Like why hasn't this been made? I'm just saying that has happened. What if you're hit in the face by an electric eel? What? Ooh, that'd be great. You'd like wrap around your face, you get the shock of your life. Oh my god. Or wear a helmet. Um, well, that doesn't protect your face. You'd have to have like like a paintball mask on too or something. <laughs> Dr. Gloryhog, what are you doing? Stop it. Stop it. So I'm going to activate the oil press first. So the oil press, I've got one in one house. I'm going to get one. How dare you. But you get to activate it twice. I so don't want to. Do your oil press. So I got twice by how much? Two? Yeah, you've got two houses and your oil is what? Two? So you're going to go four. You're going to max Boom, out. Maxed out. Okay. Um, I'm, I'm not done. That was just oh me doing the oil press. Could you hurry up? I would if you'd stop. <laughs> Fish are known. To not even try attacking you if you wear a motorcycle helmet. What? That's, that's, this all sounds <laughs> very accurate. It's very legit sounding. I mean, our our audience are like the most smart people I know. The smartest people I know. The most smart? They're the, the most, most smartest, smart? smartest people I know. <laughs> yeah, They're just so... full of tr like information. So much information. So she actually went after this one because of this piece here. And I actually want the same thing. So I'm going to spend one wine and get this card. Can I get three victory points, please? No. Yes. Give me three victory points. And then move the wine down one, please. The wine is worth less now since I just sold some. It's 
because Dr. Laura has the jerk. And the wine goes right back up. You probably should have looked at that. That's, oh, thank goodness. Yeah, that's going right back Woo. up. But I have a feeling you wanted this card. Overall, I mean, in the in Ragusa. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Please tell me more. Silver, oil, and wine. I'm down for any of those things. Okay. 100%. That's actually true. We need more. I have never, ever heard of anyone getting attacked by a fish while they wore a helmet. So therefore, it's so facto, must be true. I'm gonna get a Just like my dog is a perfect predator for tigers. We have had exactly zero tiger attacks since we got our dogs. That's true, you know. Jack Russells are like tiger repellent. <laughs> They'll stop any tiger, right, in his tracks. Tiger repellent, got it. Did you take your whole turn? I did. I just I put one there. I find that hard to believe. I've never seen you take a turn that fast. How dare you? <laughs> so like now's the time to jump in on that oil, even though like I get crap off of it. Like she can't go up anymore in oil. So like this is the time. This is the time. Is there anything I want to sell? Mm, yes, actually there is. So I'm gonna actually go here. Did you actually sell at the market after I placed here? You didn't, did you? No, I didn't. Okay, oh before, my God. before we do anything else, you did have the opportunity oh to sell at the market. Hey, focus. Sorry. I'm literally telling you to get points. I would like to get points, please. You can sell at the market. You okay. should have been able to do that last time whenever I placed I at the market. I think that all that stuff in the market is a bunch of bunk right now. Why did, what did you leave me with? You left me with nothing, Dr. Glory Hog, nothing. Okay, what would you like, please? <sighs> I guess I'll take uh, this right here because it costs one oil. Mm -hmm. The oil is going to go down one, but I do get two victory points off of it. So oil is going to go down one. I go up two victory. This makes a big difference because I was actually looking at getting this card, but I don't know if I'll actually now end up doing it now. Wine. Can you put wine up one, please? Oh my goodness. That wine is hot right now. I mean, so I, hot. I do have a wine. I don't know why I wouldn't just do that one still, but... I was going to get it for silver, but that's fine. Um, so I'm going to go here. So what that's going to allow me to do is I'm going to go ahead and spend uh, one wine and get four victory points, please. Can you give me four victory points? And can you move wine down one and oil up one? Okay, so then if we go in order for the market, since I activated it here, correct, you would get to go ahead and do another one if you wanted to. I get to buy something too. Yeah. Yes, you do. Hmm. I don't like it, but yes, yes, you do. What do I want? Camera got slapped by a fish. Camera is here. Just finish, finish killing it what right you want to do, and then we'll fix the camera. Camera is killing it. This is our chance to do ridiculous crap because nobody can see us. Oh, that is also true. I'm taking off my shirt. <laughs> this Quick, is I'll happening. turn the camera back on for all of you. Hold on. <laughs> I guess I'll just take this card here. Because it costs one oil, which I just seem to be maxed out on, and the oil is it's going weird. to it's go down It's almost like I'm just going to give you a bunch of oil right now, too. And I'm going to go up two points. One, two. Okay, so we'll circle back around. I'll get to go ahead and do that while I do the market again. Did you, you moved everything how it should have moved? Maybe. Do you not know? I prefer not to. Okay. That's scary. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and move the wine up, everybody, too, because we got to move it up, too, due to this commodity card here. Well, that's actually not bad. That one, So this one actually has a bonus, so a bonus thing you have to actually supply. So you'd actually have to supply three wine for this one. So that might not be worth it at this point in time, but I get to use the market again also. So what do I want? I have exactly one oil, so I could very easily do this one, or I could do one of the silver ones, but that's only going to give me two points. It's probably not worth it. So I think I'm just going to trade in my one oil for this one here. Can you move oil down one, please? And move silver up one. And give me two victory points. Some low scoring cards over here. Dun, dun, dun. And I'm sorry, uh, then we would do, so that was just the market. Now we would do oil press. So for me at the oil press, I'd get to do it twice. I start here, so I would get to go ahead and do it. I've got two houses there. I've got one oil, so I get to go up two. And then it would trigger again, two houses. I've got access to one set of olives, so up two. So I'm at four. You'd get to do it twice also. You've got two houses, and you've got how much olives? Three. So you get to go up five, which would max you out on the first one. Second one, you're already maxed out. And um, I'm just in the cathedral for endgame points. Okay. 
I am done with my turn. It is your turn. Dang, mm. dang fish and their slappery. Yeah, we need to get a new like a uh, battery for the camera. Well, it's camera. like anything else. Whenever but you're all live, sold out. they're all sold well, out. Well, also whenever you're live, it's worked for like the last five streams, no problem. <laughs> but tonight, it's going to be weird. It's get, it's got to be frisky tonight, you know. It's just going to be what it's going to be. All right, what do I want to do here? There's I always like... say that if any of the cameras have to go out, I want it to be the face camera because I'm not going to change my look dramatically, like in t like in my turn. So like when my turn is over, we'll fix it. But you guys just picture what I look like whenever it goes <laughs> black. Okay, <laughs> the camera goes black. Just remember what I look like. I'm a guy, got a beard thing going on, some glasses. I'm sure hat. everybody has Dr. Glory Hog posters up at their house. You know, oh, probably. I should actually try to sell Dr. Sell Glory Hog Doc posters. Dr. Glory Hog posters. <laughs> what we should do is what we should. Do. <laughs> we should do like what Dice Tower does, and we should call it like a Glory Hound Essential, and start sticking stickers on <laughs> random games. But we should just go to a store and not tell anybody, and just start putting stickers on random games. That seems good. And the people will be like Glory Hound approved. Who's Glory Hound? They'll go take a look. They'll subscribe. They'll be our thousand subscriber. <laughs> oh, we'll have party poppers go off. We'll shoot off champagne. Everything. That sounds about right. That sounds about right. Yeah. Oh, that's something we could talk about tomorrow. What we want to do if we had a thousand subscribers. Oh. We have a very good base of people that watch and high engagement when people watch. We just do not have a lot of subscribers. Yeah. Our, uh -huh. our engagement is a little bit bigger than. It's, yeah, it's above average. Yeah, it's above for average. For our numbers, yeah. for sure. But yeah, I think I will spray. Well, see, I, I say that I would spray champagne here because I've sprayed no, champagne in, in no. the house before. <laughs> <laughs> but I think that she would probably get very upset if I spray champagne I would be really upset by that. I, you know what? When we get down to this part in the game, I get really, like, tense about where I want to place things because I never feel like I'm placing things in really key locations, Yeah, you, you know? do mess it up a lot right here. Yeah. So that's always frustrating for me. I always get frustrated by that. I'm so frustrated right now. Maybe we can get, like, like 100 monarch butterflies and release them when we hit 1,000. Just... <laughs> Oh, yeah? In the house. Oh, my goodness. Or ladybugs, maybe? Is that better? Right, I think I'm going to go... What's a bug that you'd be okay with having a lot of in the house? Like, say, a thousand of. Praying mantises? Praying manti, if you will? Praying mantids. We could throw pizza up in the air. We could we could retile our shower with pizza slices. <laughs> wow. Just saying. There's a lot of options there. Oh. Uh... I want to do all the things, everyone. I always want to do all the if things. If we live by South Mountain, I would take some pizzas out and I could like, like I don't know, do like a draw against them, be like, pow, 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 and shoot up some pizzas. That's what everybody expects people to do in Arizona, anyways, right? Shoot up pizzas? Yeah, do cowboy up on some pizzas, be like, wow. I don't think draw. that's what people expect you to people do. People want samurai pizza, samurai western pizzas. That's what people oh want. Oh my gosh. All right, I think I think I'm gonna. That's I gotta fine. fix. So I gotta fix something really quick, and then. Then uh, take another 80 minutes on I'm going to take another 80 minutes on my turn, and I'll be good. You know, mantises can fly, um, but they're pretty chill. We had a bunch of lavender out in front of our house at one point, and we had a bunch of them, and they were chill. They were big, and they were, but they were just chill. Like, there was no issues. I think I'm going to use my first powerhouse. Okay, so the interesting thing about the powerhouse is it's only a two-player game. When she places a t powerhouse, it counts as hers only at this turn, and she gets to activate everything in that circle, even if they're mine, and I don't get to activate anything. Then later, if somebody else comes and plays, that powerhouse is considered like a wild, and I would get to go ahead and do it. So, so when I say that, I mean if she placed it here, and I place it here later, it would count for me. I wouldn't get to do all the actions. I'd get to do my houses plus that powerhouse. And there only could be one powerhouse per hex, and they have to be on the outside walls. I'm going to place it right here. Oh, look at that. I believe. An error in shooting. You know what? <laughs> Just turn that camera off. <laughs> We're just turning this camera off for a while, everyone. You're just going to see the game. You're not going to see our beautiful faces for a while, all right? There you go. <laughs> Can I just lean under? I can't <laughs> lean under enough. So I'm going to go ahead and put my powerhouse right here. And Yeah, you can't make a manti mad. I don't know if they're mantises or manti, but either way, you do not want to make them mad. Have you not seen Mystery Science Theater talk about giant mantises? I want to do all the things. So I'm going to I put it here. I'm going to do all the silver ones, which is... Three we need, like hand puppets. Three silver actions. I don't know, Gloria. What are, are you, you are you playing Sorry. this game with me right now, Doctor? All right, where, you, where are you at? You're putting the powerhouse, powerhouse right? Powerhouse right here. All right, move your hand. I can't see if your hand's there. Right there. So I get three 
of these actions because I get to do both of yours and I get to do mine. You're going to get four of those actions. Is well, there another on the one? Silver, yeah, on yeah, the silver. Yeah, on the silver, you're going to get three. Correct. And then I'm going to get four of these ones. Right. Of the architect ones. So three of the silver. Okay. Silver's at two per right now. Why are you looking at that? You're not selling anything. You're going to look at how much silver That's you have. That's what frustrates you. Two, two per right now. I and, was right. Very, and you've it's got, like two per. <laughs> and you've got three houses there right so now this turn. So two per six. Boom. Get, get myself some silver. And you would do it again. And then I, oh my God. So I'm going to max out on that. Yeah. Maxed. And then I'm going to go ahead and, this was the real part that was really important, but I also want to kind of mess up the silver. And. You didn't really mess up my silver. One, two, three, four. I just want, I want four of these. How are you messing up my silver? Well, Just... I wanted silver too. I wanted all. I also wanted the silver. What are you looking up there, Doctor Glory Hound? The whole point of me looking it up off camera was for you not to mention it. <laughs> So we're going to do that. I think that looks nice, right? Does that look nice? It's like it's your little architect wall things, yeah, you know. So there's, there's, there's the buildings, Spilatus. and then you can put a tower over the building. All right, you're turned off, Glory Hog. All right, so you did everything for that? You didn't give yourself resources, correct? I did this, and then I did this, and that is all. I did not, you're not allowed to get resources when you use the powerhouse. The big thing is the reason why she did that is because I cannot place on the architect or the silversmith and do the same thing. Dun, dun, dun. But what, what I could do, no, I'm not gonna even bother right now. Um, the vinery. How much stone do I have access to? I would like for you to have zero access to stone. Not a problem. <laughs> I'm going to go here, which is going to give me two wood and a stone. Our dog is like sleeping and doing like little toe taps on the wall. He's like, doop, 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 doop. So that lets me build three and two. So three, four, five. Ooh, I'm on the other side of the wood. I could do five per hex there if I wanted to. Just saying. That's good for you, Dr. Lori Hogg. I think that's nice. It's your go. Hey, we're back. Are we back on the camera? Yeah. Oh. I did that while you were taking your turn. I oh, mean, hi, guys. Oh, hello, everybody. I just did something a little tiny special while you were taking your turn, and our dog was toe tapping. All right. I want to... He's a very aggressive sleeper. <laughs> and he sleeps. He sleeps hard. He plays hard. He sleeps hard. He does. He Never does. had a tiger attack in this house, but also he, is a, he does like a kicking the wall when he's asleep. How much wood do I have? Okay. How much wood would a glory hound have if a glory hound could have wood? A placement is going to get tricky because of how much wood I have. Yeah, that is tricky. You've got too much wood is what you're worried about? No, I don't have enough wood. <laughs> well, if you're placing in the city, you should be okay because it's stone is what you need. I know. I was thinking of other things, Dr. Glory Hound. Jeez. Mm. Jeez. <laughs> Oh, no. All right. I have that and that and that. I want to. Give up. No. I want to give up. I want to do a couple different things is the problem. Right. I can see why that would be a problem. You want to do a couple different things. <laughs> yes. Very stressful. It is. It's very stressful. So much stress. Yeah, I really like the fact that you can put a tower over a house. So, like, even if she was building up the wall crazy, I could still put towers over it and still kind of join in on that. And I like that where she places her stuff can trigger a bunch of stuff for me, too. Like there. So, which one are you doing first? Or maybe here. I think here still, might be better. Still does good for me. I think here might be better for me. All right, so I'm gonna need a fish. Get them fish. And I'm gonna get some wine here, which I have four, and I have two of them here, so that's eight. 
Glory Hound cast resurrect on camera. It fizzles. <laughs> Critical <laughs> fail. I don't know what's going on with that. Is it because our dog is kicking the wire? No. Our dog is over here like <laughs> doing Steven Seagal chops to our camera. Turn that bad boy off. What we'll right. do is we'll just lay on the table at the end. There so you go. Can see our oh, faces. there you go. That's fine. We can do that. <laughs> It'll be like a, a shut up and sit down review. <laughs> Where so they lay on the table. They yeah. always do weird. They always do weird stuff whenever they're like weird camera angles. They're like, hey, we're on our knees in front of our table. You talking. have to get. You have to get wine as well. Okay. Get your wine. So what are you doing first? You're doing the. Are you, I already did my wine. Okay. So can you move your hand? Sorry, I can't see my Here, actual. Here, if you could just do your wine directly like this. You are a um, <laughs> chronically clumsy, so please don't do that over the board as you, like, knock everything over. All right, so I've got one house in the winery, okay. and I've got two grapes, so I'm just going to get two. Okay, I did my wine. You placed there, so you did the winery, okay? And now I want to do this wharf. Okay, do the wharf. You get to turn in one commodity. And get some points. Did you give yourself that fish, too? You did? Yes, I gave myself a fish. I'm going to turn in... I think I'm going to turn in oil. You're going to turn in on oil. I'm very proud of you. It's still worth two. Okay. Give yourself two victory points in and turn in that oil. These don't go down, though, whenever it's that, you right? Do. Yep. They By do? One. Yep, because you're trading in one, it goes down one. All right, then I, never mind. I'm going to turn in a wine. Okay. You, you worried that wine was going to hit three and I was going to all of a sudden get crazy? Yeah, I don't want you to get up in there with that. With my two barrels of wine and you've got, like, Ten barrels? Oh my gosh, Listen, you're right. I will cut you. That is a threat. <laughs> I will cut you over this wine. Yeah, no, it's uh, the cable or the fake battery that goes inside of the camera fatal paper cut needs to be replaced. And at this time, they are all sold out because of the quarantine. So sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Most of the time it does work, but... At this time, I'm unable to get one, so we kind of just have to do what we what we can do. So I, after the stream, I'll go ahead and like finagle with it, and or maybe just I don't know. We'll see. We'll please see. I'll fix it. <laughs> please don't finagle with it. It doesn't deserve that. I will finagle with all the things. You can't stop me. Okay. Hmm. Although now they can't see our sweet dance moves off camera, you know. I mean... Why are you like this? <laughs> Why are you actually like this? That's everyone else's loss, so... <laughs> we don't have many turns left until game over, man. Game yeah, over. I've only got like six things in front of me now. This is getting... It's getting intense. Pretty tight. So tense. Cats do hold grudges. That is true. That is very true. Cats do. They will bite the crap out of so you. So what you're seeing here is me inserting my building underneath her tower. Dude. Just like so. Why you gotta be like that? So I'm gonna trigger, I'm gonna get grapes and I'm gonna get uh, olives. So my olives goes How up to two you? finally. Grapes goes up to three. How dare you. And I'm gonna trigger the architect. So I'm gonna go ahead and get one. That's just one, yeah. I get to do it first. Oh, but then I get to also no, do get, it for that one. You get to do four. Right. Because one, two, three, four. Because and then you get you're going to do, get to do the, one. The powerhouse as well. And then I'll get to yeah. do one. So, yeah, in order it goes, I get four of these towers. So I'm just going to drop one. I could drop one here. I'm never going to go down that far, though. I could drop one here and also do that shenanigans you're all about. You're all about that life. <laughs> this video has zero cat butt. You know, that's true. Definitely going to get less views because of less cat butt. I think we get more views. <laughs> I'm just like throwing towers everywhere. I know. I'm like, some of these moves don't even make sense at this point. Well, I mean, I have four of them. What do I do with them then? Like, do I just... Not that. What would you have done with that? You got nothing. Around. You've got I'm nothing. Around. <laughs> there. So I'm going to go here because then okay. she has to use a house if she wants to continue that Yeah. Street. You make me use a house for that, Dr. Glory Hog. You okay? <laughs> uh, go ahead and place one tower, please. Because you have one purple All there. Right. Why are you sad about this now? I'm so confused by how your brain works. Whenever I put the towers on, I always feel like I'm doing like a chess move, like or not a chess move, like a checkers move. Like, king me. It looks like a little crown. No? All right, that's our show for right. <laughs> ah, close it down. Just slide everything off. 
No, don't do it. Well, watch. We'll find out we get we'll get ten times as many views because we're not on the actual screen. <laughs> that would be so sad. <laughs> was it viral marketing? Or was it because that we weren't I mean, on the screen? It doesn't even really matter where I put this at this point. <laughs> That's what a duck would say. That's what the duck says. That's quack, a quack, true quack, story. Quack, that quack, is quack, a true story. Quack, 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 quack. Can you please place your tower? I'd rather not. It's literally a free action for you. I'm just going to do this, but it doesn't mean anything. It's not going to do anything. Life doesn't mean anything, princess. Not Let's like, go. <gasps> place that How tower. How dare you? Place your building. How dare you? How do you have so much indecision about a free tower that doesn't mean anything? If it doesn't mean anything, <laughs> just place it somewhere. <laughs> All right, I'm going to use my second powerhouse, I think. Okay. No, use them up. I'm going to actually, you know what? No. Aww. I'm going to... Hmm. Since now I have two fish, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this in the middle. Right there. The fishmonger one? Okay, so first, do you want to do turn in the fish? So turn in two fish, and you're going to get one victory point. Worth it. You'll get the end game thing, and then you also get to look at two cards. I just really want cards. one of these. I just really want one of these. Don't look, Dr. Glory Hell. Jesus, I don't want to see. I don't want to see anything you got going on over there. <laughs> you need to calm down. All right, we'll take that one. Okay. Get it out of my face. I didn't finish my turn, right? You literally did. Oh, no, I did. Just yeah. kidding. Mm. Just kidding. Oh, no. All right, I'm going to actually place another one. Right up in here. Okay. And that's going to give me oil and grapes. Oh, uh, Dr. Glorhog's trying to go for something. He got a card, a scorecard that he's going to get a lot of stuff on. Shh. One, two, three, four, five. I get to place five towers. Oh my gosh. Do it. They're going everywhere. And then you get to place one more tower if there's a spot. I've never even seen this many towers. Who has this many towers? See, this is how you do it when it doesn't matter, really. You just put them out. It doesn't need to be a show. You don't need to call your mom about it. You just put them out. All right, put your one tower out, please. Okay. Thank I didn't you. even want to put that out. <laughs> so you get a bonus for having all your towers out. I say you should get one. I could totally take off my hat right now. Nobody would know. Bum, bum, bum. Oh, my goodness. Alright, I need to go. No, this isn't an older game. This game was kickstarted in December of 2018. And I want to say we got it like maybe six months ago. So, I mean, you figure, it took probably most of 2019 to deliver. We probably got it around December. I know I could look that up, but I don't know off, off top of my head. Um, but we've had it for a couple months. It was one of those ones that we got in. We got this in just right around the time she got back from a convention when she picked up like Black Angel and a bunch of other games. So we just ended up with a, a bunch of new games all at once. And it's one that I wasn't in a rush to get to the table because it was one she strongly wanted to back. I didn't. I was ready to pass on it because it just looked like a dry euro to me. But it's actually more enjoyable than I gave it credit for. So I'm glad overall we played it. It's one that I am going to keep. Um, but typically, I don't. When I look for a game, I don't look for these types of games. Is the main issue, you know, brain burners with cubes and stuff. It does look. I mean, as far as for a game that has just basically wood pieces and stuff, it does look kind of nice. It's not just standard cubes. But yeah, it was about. Um, I want to say, it made a. I know it made like a hundred thousand on Kickstarter. But it was like December two thousand eighteen is when it uh, funded. I definitely didn't look it up before the show. <laughs> I did, actually. All right. I will go here. I'll go here. And I'm going to go here. I found that I like a lot of the capstone games that are kind of like, look like they're going to be kind of Euro-y. Because, like, there's Irish Gage. Didn't capstone also do um, the estates? I feel like. And that's another one that doesn't look like it's going to be like super exciting because it's just like a lot of wood and stuff. Yeah. But, it, but it was actually, I really like the estates. That's a really good auction game. So I'm going to get three of these and then you can get one, I think. And does Capstone do another really big game? Are they the ones who do that really big game with all the ships? I know they did that big city one with all the big cities. That was a Capstone game that we wanted to kickstart, but it was like ridiculously huge cities. Remember that one? 
like big old huge like plastic cities. Like it was just a big game, like physically big. I don't think so. I don't remember that. You would if I showed it to you. I'm sure. Oh, okay. okay. It was called like Big City or something like that. It was actually called like Big City or something. Okay, so I placed it here, so I would get points based off of that, right? Okay, where did you place? Right here. That wall? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you would get two points, or three points total. One for the wall, and then one for having a thing on each side. I think that was three, okay. And then I'm going to place right here. So three again. And then I get to place one also. And I still have one more to place. Okay, sure. I'm going to place right here. So three again. I mean, I, I, mean, I kind of like have to place here because it's just like... It, like, why wouldn't you like at this connects. point? Yeah, can you give me three three points, please? No. So right now it is 20 to 24, so it's still pretty tight. Where did you actually... Two pieces left. Where did you actually place? How do you only have two pieces left? I have four. That could potentially... Look in your box, make sure you don't have an extra one in there. Because that might be an issue. What? You've been putting down your pieces. Oh, I know I have. Oh, listen, I'm not just putting pieces on the board. Where did you push your? Where did you place your last one? Right no. here. Right there. So you got resources, and then you triggered the mason. So you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and then twelve purple. Oh, but did you start one of these? I did start. But I still have like two extra than you, because even if I place, I'm still. I bet you forgot to put down one somewhere. Did you like double up a turn once or something? No. Hmm. Well, that isn't. I don't know. Our viewers can go ahead and let us know. Our viewers are very honest. The black house. The black houses are specifically for a two-player game, and they're powerhouses. So they have special rules. It's a two-player variant. Basically, with powerhouses, if you place one down, you get all of the abilities for each of the little houses on there. So it doesn't matter if I placed one, say right, right here then I would get to do this ability for mine, and then this ability for mine, and then this ability for Dr. Glory Hogs as well. I think I figured out where it was. And then this becomes one that anybody can use for anything, basically, which is nice. You did take two turns, I believe, because you did the fishmonger, and you did all that business. Mm -hmm. And then I think you did ended up doing that one over there at the Mason. I don't think I actually took a turn in between that. Well, take, do you want me to... Well, so the game go, triggers end game whenever you run out of all houses. So in the end, it's going to be close to equal because I'm going to have two turns at the end where you only have one. Like, you'll run out first, you know? Well, no, take, go ahead and take your two now. That could be pretty significant. I don't know if you want that. Or I could take back the mason one, whatever you want to do. No, I'll just take two. It's fine. Listen, you need to pay attention, sir. <laughs> no, I'm pretty sure it was your fault. What? How is it my fault? The whole time I am over here, I have like serious AP and stuff. This game is so simple to like break out and put down right, and you ready put for all this? pieces down. I'm just going to be a jerk since you want to be mean to me. I wasn't being mean. How was I being mean? Mm, I guess that won't actually stop you. Mm. I don't know how this is being mean. I was going to stick it there so that way it would stop you. <laughs> All right, well, then I'll go here. Okay. Uh, where do I want to go in here? I don't have any fish, do I? <laughs> I don't. Either the hog forgot to place or the hound placed too many. A scandal! Well, I'm going to say it was the hog forgot to place. The hog probably got talking about fish slapping people in faces. All right, ready? And so I'm going to go. Here at the wharf, which is going to let me do the Rector's Palace, which I can, I'm the only one who gets to do that, so I get to get another bonus card. Which one? You placed it right here? Yes. The, oh, right. So I get the Rector's Palace the, first. Just one. Whoops. I'm going to take that one. So yeah, those middle ones don't trigger for everybody. And then I'm going to do the winery. So if I did the winery, I've got one, two houses there, and I've got access to four grapes, so we're looking at eight and then I would do it again. So I'm just going to max out there. <laughs> you would also max out because you would also be doing the winery. And you are, yeah, you're just going to max out there. Um, and then I would do the wharf. So at the wharf, I've got, I can sell one commodity at the wharf. And then she can sell one commodity at the wharf. I am going to go ahead and sell what is worth the most right now. That's worth two points. Everything is kind of worth two. 
that's worth two, but it's going to go down to one. I'm going to do this one. What is that one? Oil? I'm going to sell oil. Can you move oil down one, please? Because now oil's worth one. Oh, my God. <laughs> now you can go ahead and sell. All right. I will sell... Get this wine. Let's let's sell some wine. Okay. All right. Have you taken both your turns? No. Okay. I will right now though. Fish oil? No. Gross. Battle cry. We're talking about the delicious type of oil. We're talking about olive oil. <laughs> it's all about that olive oil. <laughs> You've done a good job of blocking off these corners, so I can't double I activate know, this powerhouse. I know, yeah. But I could still just go to the market and be like a Why? jerk and get four times. All right, so I'm using my powerhouse. Such a jerk. So I can use I this market here. four times. I won't get any fish off of it, but I can use the market four times. So start off. What is something easy? I mean, that one's worth two. It's oil. This one's worth the most, but it's going to cost two oil and a wine. But actually, I have a lot of wine. So I'm going to do two oil and a wine. And can you move me up four points, please? And can you go ahead and move the um, oil down one? So that's once. Ah, Listen, ah, everybody ah. is, they're buying, they're making too much oil. People are buying too much oil. Like, it's going down. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and sell, God, these are all just two, so it's kind of stink. I'm going to sell one wine. Can you move the wine down one, please? So that's two actions. Oh, you know, I don't even know if we actually increased one. Uh, increased silver by one. So I've done that twice now. I need to keep track because I can do it two more times. All right, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to take wine down one. Wind down one. Wow, those end game points are not going to go very far. That's Can you for move sure. the oil up one, please? Yeah, all these are all twos. Why are you like this? So, I mean, I guess it's like the least expensive one. I guess I'll do wine again. Move wine down again, please. And give me two more points. If you could just. Have you been giving me points every time I said give me points? Yeah. Okay, so I've gotten a total of like four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten points. That seems right. That does not seem right. I thought you were at 18 before. No. Well, maybe not. No. Wow, babe. Um, no, you definitely missed some of my points in there. <laughs> I was at like 20-something. You are killing me right now. <laughs> if I was at 20, I'd be at 24, 25, okay. 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. I think that's right. I think you maybe only missed one of the small ones. I. I have to like go back and like replay this whole video. We're gonna have video. to replay the whole video now and see all, right. all of the things that I forgot to do. So I sold the wine. You moved the wine down. I'm hoping. Now move the oil up one, please. Oil up. Okay, that was a thing. All right, it is your turn. <laughs> you guys are getting the idea of how the game works, right? Even if That's it's the uh... important part. That's the important part. Is they yeah. know how the game works, right? Oh, let's see here. Where do I want to put my stuff? So the other thing about the powerhouses is I can't actually put a powerhouse here because there's already one in this hex. So you can't, you have to put them on the borders on these wall areas here, as well as they can't be in the same hex as something else, which is pretty important. Pretty important. So if we missed your question, just say it again. What happened? I think the um, I think the main issue, honestly, is just messing around with that camera back and forth has kind of thrown us off, like losing track of stuff. Because this game is very elegant as far as just the way that it plays with its turns and stuff. But yeah, that's all right. We ended up where I just doubled up on a turn to catch up. And she probably shorted me a bazillion points. Definitely. I definitely shorted you a bazillion points. I mean... That's the most likely scenario. Hmm. The, saving the powerhouses to like the very, very end is not really a super great 
It's good and it's bad. I know, right? It is. It's good and it's bad. Like, I know what I want to do, but what do you want to do? I'm going to pick this powerhouse right here, I think. So this is going to give me access to two fish. You don't get those because it's a powerhouse. You do not get resources off oh, of powerhouses. Oh, that's right. That's right. I didn't think of fish as resources. Yeah, no, they are a resource. You don't gain fish, grapes. That's the only... That's, once again, a special rule for the two-player variant. If you're playing this at three players, you want to worry about powerhouses no, or any you don't, of that. No, you don't have to worry about that at all. Then it's just people placing stuff on the board and then you worrying about where they're placing things. Yeah, I think this game is optimized at three or more. <sighs> Maybe we'll convince Greg to play a game with us again at some point. Oh, yeah? Mask him up. Spray him with Lysol. Yeah, it's the water that's dangerous. There's no optimal place to put the powerhouses anymore. There isn't. You, there really you isn't. specifically blocked off all the corners that would let you activate two of them. <laughs> and the powerhouses <laughs> with the two-player variant have to be on the outside edge of the wow. walls. So there's a lot of fish resources on the outside if you're going down in these lower ones. And then up here, you're missing on all these resources. And it's only good if you can trigger two hexes at once, but you can't because she's blocked all of those off pretty much. Because you can't place it there because you've already did a powerhouse there. And then that one's blocked. That one's blocked. Can't place anywhere that's going to be on the market. I mean, you can only really get like the fishmonger, maybe the wharf. That's really, yeah, you're just running out of stuff. I am. I really want to do this, though. Like, I feel like I need to do this. You can't be inside with the powerhouse? Okay, not that it's one. It's not a powerhouse, okay. yeah. I'm just letting you know. So, let me make sure I have all my stone. Yep, I have three stone. Okay, so that's good. All right, so silver. I'm already kind of maxed out on silver, but I wanted to make sure I got in here for the... Yeah, end game points. End game points. And I wanted to make sure I got in here to get another one of these cards here. And so for silver for you, are you maxed out? I am not. Okay, so, so move your hand, please. You and I can just do it. How many do two. I have there? I've got two there. So two houses times my silver, which is one. So that's only gonna move me up two, and then I'm gonna do it again. Up two. This is a nine. That's not bad. All right, your turn, Dr. Glory Hog. I'm going to place this on the wharf. You don't, oh yeah, okay, never mind. So I don't get any fish, but I do get to trigger one, two, three times. I can sell three commodities. So I'm going to sell silver. Yeah, I'm going to sell silver, so I'm going to get two, four, six. So I'm going to get two, four, six. So six points, please. So I'm at 36, and I'm going to lose three silver. And uh, that's it, because it just triggers that wharf three times, but you don't get to trigger the wharf. Your last turn with that powerhouse. Yeah. Which is really bad now, because now all you can get is, you can get wine, you can get oil. It's not super great. I can put it in here and build a wall. You could. I mean, that will get you points. But really, that's the only other place that I can put it that would make any sense, honestly. Agreed. With all those oily fish. So if I got one, slapped two, in the three, face by an oily four, fish, I would be five. mad. Regular fish, I'd be like perturbed. Oily fish, super mad. So you can do it five times. Yeah, right, so I don't even sure. know where I'm going to put all these. One, two, three, four, five. All right, so yeah, show me each individual one so I can keep track of how many points you're getting. Two points. Five points total now. Seven points total. Nine points total. Ten, eleven points total. So you're going to go 27, 37. 
So now it's 36 to 37. And I am placing my last one, and then we're going to go to scores. So, Whew, this has been tough. Ooh, that isn't good. Wow, sneaky. What's that? You left one wall space right here, so I won't get this extra point over here. Or this extra point. That's going to cost me two points right there. I mean, I can place a house, and that'll be fine. And get it. But that's going to be two points. Or I can just say, oh, well, and see what my victory things are instead. Dun, dun, dun. I'm going to get that one maxed out. These are going to be worth more overall. So I'm going to go... Dr. Glorhog maximizing his last move. Can he do it? No. Will he pull out the win in the end? Will he re-review the footage again and again and make sure that he lost or won? All right. So here I'm going to get grape, silver, and stone. So grape, silver, and stone. I know. You're like, why? That's not even that good of a thing. <laughs> it's because it's it. because you got the, yes. the sweet in-game reward. All right. So let's talk in-game points here because we are right points. now neck and neck. We are 36 to 37, and my wife cheated at some point in time. <laughs> Didn't she? Just remember, she, with anything. she unintentionally forgot for me to score. <laughs> how convenient. All right. So here is how the end of the game works. So first, we're going to do city walls. So you find the longest string of city walls you have that are unbroken. So... I know for a fact right here, I'm broken here. So, like, that's not going to be my longest string. This is going to be one, your longest string two. right here. Yeah, it is. So, I've got one, two. Oh, no, there's no wall right there. So, that doesn't count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. That's got to be my longest string because there's dun, missing stuff there. So, I'm going to get 12 points. I'm going to go. 36 to 38 to 48. I feel like we need that like darkening light that every time like something is done, it's like Doo! one, two, three, and everything three, gets a little darker. Four, five, six. So you only got six there. Where does your purple start over here? You've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen there. So you've got thirteen. So you go to forty and you go to fifty. So we're still two points off. So that's the walls. Neck and neck. We then go to the cathedral. <laughs> This one's interesting. What? <laughs> what was so, that noise for? Cathedral, <laughs> so how much you've got? What was that noise for? You have three at the cathedral, I have right? Three at the cathedral. And you've got at least three sets that are the same here. So, so she's got at least three sets. I have eleven right, sets of everything. Of everything. So you've got three oh sets. God. So what you're looking at here is you're going to get three times one. So that's three points. Mm -hmm. Three times. Oh, I'm sorry. So you've got wait one point here, two points there, and one point there. So one, two, three, four. So four points, and you can do that four, you can do that three times, so so 12. Four, eight, right. 12. So you're going to get 12 points, so you're going to go to 52, 62. Um, I only have one full set, so I just get four points. So that's not good for me. One, two, three, four. That actually might be way worse than I thought. I thought I had you beat on the walls, too, but I did not. And then bonus cards. So let's take a look at your bonus cards since you're in the lead. Bonus cards. So you get two for every all of them, a maximum of up to 12 points. How many all you have? Four. four. So eight. So let's go. You are at 70. Your next bonus card, please. Four for every silver. What is your silver at? Your silver's at two, so another eight points. 78. And your last bonus is four for every one of those that has a fancy dress on it, so just four points. Yes. One, two, three, four. So she's at 82 and I'm at 52. I've got to make up 30 points out of my bonus Dr. cards. Dr. Warhog's going to do it. I don't know. I don't know if I can actually. Oh, no. So I get two for every grape. I've got five. So that's 10 points. So 62. Two for every tower. I definitely get the full 12 points on that one because I am almost completely out of towers. So let's just double check. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep, that's already maxed. So 12 points. So I go up to 64, 74. It's getting closer. It's getting closer. Three for every stone I have. I have four stones. That's 12 points. One, two, so 76, all the way up to 86. I just jumped her. And then two for every wood I have, which I have five. So that's another 10 points. I go to 86, I go to 96. So final end game score was a blowout thanks to the, re thanks to the goals, because I had four goals that all paid out almost at max. 
It is 96 to 82. How do you, do you feel? feel? Do you feel happy with yourself right now? A Euro game that I can win in that's also area control. Happy. Yeah, I'm pretty pumped about that. <laughs> I almost, I, I typically lose these a lot. For this being such a simple game and going through and like being like, oh, we're just placing houses. This is rough. This is a rough game. Yeah, like, it, not in a bad way. This is rough as in, like, intense. Right, because you're only going to get, placement. in a normal three-player or more game, you're Listen, only going to get 12 turns. This is exactly what I wanted in this game. It's 100% yeah. exactly what I wanted in this game. I wanted this game um, to be simple don't to play. Please knock off my score. I almost broke 100. <laughs> please don't I wanted this game to be simple to play and simple to introduce to people and then yeah, super complex. It's a game where you always feel like you just need one more turn. Oh, yeah. Because I was going to try to get in here to try to get olives up so that I can increase my overall score on that one part that you just did, the commodities. Yeah. My leftover commodities. You never get to sell all your stuff. I constantly no. end up with like 10 mm -hmm. plus things. Yeah. Because you can only sell one per house you have. That was crazy. Oh, sorry. I moved your thing again. Oh, my gosh. You sorry. keep trying to take it off so I don't <laughs> record it in my app. My board game right. stats. Thank you, everyone, who joined us today. We appreciate you hanging out with us yeah. and watching us play Ragusa as we're being all super crazy, wily, and everything. And it's just breaking cameras. It was breaking cameras. You're going to have to figure out how faces. to fix that camera before tomorrow. That's the only Trapping thing we people. use for the Kickstarter show. Well, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Put the cameras like, around, just lay on the table. That's right. That's hey, how we do it. We'll be here. <laughs> What did everybody else think about the game? That's right. We want to know in the comments if you guys like this the game The first or not. taste was free. Are you going to get addicted? If you guys are interested in playing this game at home because it was it was pretty simple learn. It was pretty easy learn. I yeah. liked it. And it wasn't, uh, I don't think this game was overly expensive either. I think it was one of the cheaper Kickstarters. Probably 60 bucks or less. Yeah, I don't when know. When I say cheaper, at this <laughs> point with the way Kickstarter's been, 60 bucks or less is like bargain pricing. Battle Cry says, not enough electric oily fish for my life. Yeah, liking. there was not any electric ones. <laughs> But you know what? Now that I am basically the king of Ragusa and I have all these beautiful towers and all these commodities, I can make the peasants do whatever I want. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. All right. So let's go ahead and end it before the camera turns off. <laughs> make yeah. sure to join us. It is kind of like a worker placement. Yeah, it's it's worker placement with area control in it, basically. With Euro style. Styling. It's Euro stylized worker placement that area has control. A hint of area control in it and strategic and, uh, placement. A little bit of black pepper. I can taste a little bit. A little bit of like. And plum. Black slight, pepper and plum. Slight seasoning. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, black mm -hmm. pepper and plum. Yeah. That's what it is. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And, and an oaky <laughs> sensation. I can feel Wait. the fall leaves falling on my face when I drink this beautiful, beautiful wine. Hints. The Ragusa. Hints of adventure, you know? Like. It's an adventurous. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's not light and bubbly. It's definitely no. a dark. It's a red. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a red. Absolutely. <laughs> If you like our content, you know the deal. Like and subscribe. Check out our Ko-Fi if you want to send us a beer or a coffee or a soda or whatever. And uh, we're going to have two shows tomorrow. Yeah. Kickstarter show at 12 and 12 Mountain Standard Time. And then we're going to do a 6 o'clock fireside chat where we're just going to chit-chat like this. So that if you enjoy this end part where we chit-chat too much, that's all we're going to do. Yeah, that's six. all we're going to do. We're just going to talk about that. I'm going to get like... We want to talk about all the exciting new games we have coming in and what, what's and, next. And I'm going to get like my haircut in the middle of it. So like we're going to have the Kickstarter show and then I'm going to get my oh. haircut. And then <laughs> we're going to go ahead and go into the fireside chat. So you guys will get to see direct results. <laughs> yeah, you're going to see long to longer. Who knows? I don't know how haircuts work for women. <laughs> Does it get longer when you get a cut? No. Is it like a beard where you shave it and no. then it comes back faster? No, but I'm ready for it. Like, it's been too long. It's like driving me nuts. It's been over 100 degrees every day for yeah. the last couple of weeks. Yeah. So, yeah, it's right. about that time. We better end this. We will talk to all of you later. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye.